Hey Mallards, it is Tuesday. It is not a game night, which means I'm at Ginger's. Oh, it's also not 10 minute Tuesdays. So I'm at Ginger's watching Buffy and Angel. We watched an interesting episode of Buffy where Dawn realized she's not a potential slayer and, you know, was a little bit sad about it. But mostly I just enjoyed the fact that Felicia Day is in the show right now. Wow, what a lovely uh, time that is. Um, and that episode was fine. And then we watched an episode of Angel that was like, nah, you know, like most of the episodes of Angel are. Just like a little complicated, a lot of drama between Angel and his son and Angel and Cordelia and all that jazz. And then we watched an episode where they realized, and oh yeah, remember that whole two apocalypse things happening? Still two apocalypse is happening. One in Sunnydale and one in Los Angeles. So at the uh, Los Angeles apocalypse, the beast blotted out the sun. Lucky us. Uh, and as a result, you know, they're desperately trying to stop it. But when he came to blot out the sun, he was talking to like Angel. He was talking to like Angel. I don't know what those words were. He was talking to Angel like he knew him, but like he knew him like Angelus which is like the soulless version of him if you've never seen Buffy or Angel a lot of this is not going to make sense for you this video is not for you uh if you have seen Buffy and Angel this video is for you anyway talking to Angel as if he knew him because he knew him when he was Angelus and Angel's like I don't remember any of that so they were like well clearly the only thing we can do is turn you back into Angelus so instead of like giving him a moment of complete happiness because that's really a challenge. Apparently not a challenge. Anyway, they, uh, instead bring a monk in who is supposed to, like, extract, extract his soul and put it in a jar and then eventually put it back into his body, right? Except that when the monk arrives, it turns out he was working for the beast all along. He works for like a group that helped the beast come to be and he tries to kill Angel instead. So they fight him off and he ends up killing himself. And then they discover the reason nothing's written about the beast is because the guy is covered in tattoos because that's how they keep track of things. And then they learn about this sword that can be used to defeat the beast. And then they go and find the sword. And then Connor and Angel finally like fight it out like boys do uh, and start to get along and Angel and Cordelia make up and then they get the sword and they use the sword and they defeat the beast and like everyone is happy and then Angel and Cordelia really make up and then Angel loses his soul and then you flash back and it really was the monk the whole time putting him through an illusion that would make him happy and would make that feel like reality, which would make him lose his soul. And I'm so upset at how well done that was. I bought it. I so bought it. I was in. I definitely you know did not expect. What? Wesley apologizing. Oh, because he's never heard him apologize before? Yeah. You're right. And they had a moment. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I thought Wesley was showing character growth. Wesley has grown. <laughs> Wesley always grows. I just didn't expect it. He's not doing high it. school girls anymore. So, I was shocked. Ugh. Jeez. Also, hot tip. If you ever want a guy to experience complete and utter happiness, apparently have sex with him. That's what I've learned from Buffy and Angel. Well, he's also getting complete happiness because his son accepts him. Yeah, I realize that it's his son accepts him, right? But and, like, everything twice, is happy. twice, I have watched his soul return, like his soul leave. Mm -hmm. I've watched him turn back into Angelus twice, just because he had sex with a girl. So I'm just saying. He's had sex that if with a I... girl before and did not come back. Really? Who? When? Yeah, Buffy. Season one? Season two of Angel? Oh, they slept with together him. again? With the ring. When he had the ring. Oh, yeah. So he could do it without losing his soul. Because he was human. Because he was human. But that's different. Clearly, 
he was still experiencing complete happiness because if he didn't have the ring, he would have lost his soul. I'm just saying, guys apparently experience complete happiness while having sex. So that's a good thing to know. I feel like I experience complete happiness while eating chocolate cake, but like to each their own. <laughs> anyway, uh, the next episode we get to watch is Buffy, and so we're probably gonna watch that. Yeah, it's not too late right now. I can watch one more episode. But I just needed to talk to you about this episode that was, like, unfortunate. I'm just so upset at how well done it was. Ugh. And I'm mostly upset because now none of that was real. And I have to deal with the Beast being real again and Connor being upset again and Cordelia fighting again and also Angelus. Actually, Angelus maybe is the only silver lining. <laughs> they said this thing earlier uh, where Cordelia was like, yeah, but Angelus is smart. And Angel was like, what? Are you saying I'm not smart? And she goes, no, you're smart. It's just that Angelus is ingenious. And she's like, yeah, what is it about evil that like really just makes your IQ higher? And I was thinking, hmm, is this why I like dangerous women? And slightly evil people. Because they're smarter. <laughs> like, I think that's probably part of it. I mean, Ooh, also, Gwen came back in this uh, episode. She's the girl with electric fingers. And she's pretty. So that was enjoyable. Alright, we're going to watch more Buffy now. We did watch an episode of Buffy. Uh, it's an episode of Buffy where Willow turns into a boy because she kissed a girl. Nothing else happened. Uh, I guess Buffy and Spike broke into the headquarters of that organization that I don't the remember the name of. There we go. The initiative. Ginger's here. The one with Wonder Bread Riley. That one. <laughs> um, and uh, it left us on a cliffhanger too. The cliffhanger for that one is, is Buffy going to remove the chip in Spike's head or have it repaired? And then the cliffhanger on the other side is, Angelus is back. So Yeah. We won't be able to watch next week because there's 10 Minute Tuesdays. So I guess in two weeks, I might get the answer to one or both of those cliffhangers. For now, I'll just see you tomorrow. <laughs>